and so matters will become your baby's body, which affected your cells will become your placenta fingers crossed. Approximately two, two and a half percent of children born in the United States today are a product of IVF. Reproduction is a very inefficient process in nature. There are a whole host of things that we either can't test for or that we don't actually know of today that we can overcome possibly with IVF. When it gets to IVF, you know, the patients are worried about are they a good candidate? What are their success rates? What are the financial implications? How are they going to feel? As a physician, our responsibility is to empower patients. IVF, the end result is a dream that you've had for a long time, but you need to be realistic going into it. Every time that we have a failed transfer, we have to take a step back and figure out if we're gonna keep going or if we're gonna walk away. We were uneducated to start with until we got to see some of the math behind it and the numbers. Patients care about taking a baby home, and so this entails a very detailed, complex conversation. They want to know in their own fertility what are their assets, what are their challenges, and what tools can they use to get them to that desire for another child. We know it's new to many people, it's scary. If a patient is well educated, they're going to make better decisions, they're going to feel more confident and comfortable with the treatments that we recommend to them. All we can do is give them the information, the tools to move forward, and Unify is probably the best tool that we have. Unify is a health technology company. We use artificial intelligence and machine learning to make fertility care more successful and accessible. Prior to founding Unify, I was a clinician scientist on the faculty at Stanford University. Our flagship product is the Unify Pre-IVF Report, used by the fertility specialist to counsel patients who are IVF candidates about the potential benefits and limitations of IVF. We use the pre-IVF report to help couples understand the probability that going to IVF is gonna result in a baby. It basically takes the patient's unique characteristics, including her age, her AMH, possibly an indicator of ovarian reserve, and other factors that are related to her fertility. To be able to show a patient using data derived from their own evaluation, what is the chance in the first egg collection? What is the chance in the second egg collection? What is the chance in the third egg collection? Decreases the stress as they're on the journey. A Unify has basically run the analytics on our data to say, hey, a similar couple such as yourself, who's been through our center, has been able to achieve this type of success. Pre-IVF report allowed us to understand what was possible for us, understanding we were a little bit older, taking into factors our health. It was, made us confident that we could have a child. The Unify report provides the patients what we believe is a transparent insight into their costs with and without success. For many patients, this provides them the confidence to move forward when they otherwise might not. Unify's refund program is more elegant because it, it incorporates more of the patient's history. By being more data-driven, we are offering more tailored packages to each patient. It's not just based on likelihood of success nationwide, it's based on our success here. And from a patient's standpoint, it gives them a peace of mind. The margin of error is in the 2 to 4 percent range. It has enabled us to uh, offer up to 70 percent of our couples a refund program. We've been into five transfers now. We don't have to worry about can we afford another transfer even though we have embryos ready to go. So it removed a layer of stress through this process. The world of reproductive medicine is changing. Unify has changed to follow that and so they have been a very good partner in care of patients. Because Unify has this modeling to get more accurate statistics, we can apply that to the variables that are important for a woman to consider when she's thinking about freezing eggs. How many eggs do they need to freeze and how many cycles might it take to achieve that number of eggs? The Unify report has been a benefit to informed consent. Unify has helped us also develop a refund program for our donor egg projects, knowing that they can also have a refund if they don't not, do not have a live birth is quite reassuring when we're talking about a higher level of, of investment. So telehealth and telemedicine has really sort of just blossomed. After COVID, Unify produced for each couple after their first telemedicine visit, 
this fertility report and it goes into their electronic medical record portal. It helps to keep the patients engaged. Our vision is to leverage AI and machine learning to partner with fertility providers to make fertility treatments more successful and accessible to patients. We'll meet monthly via Zoom calls. We'll talk about trends, how many reports are being generated, and what are the reports actually translating into uh, regarding success. They offer such a comprehensive package that is so clearly benefiting the patient in so many ways, powering them with knowledge, how one treatment option compares to another. It has exceeded our expectations.